I guess we should start at the beginning and start with the OG style of harness, which is a soft shell. This is the original style of harness and what you get with this harness is usually a better level of comfort if you're not riding in such extreme conditions. Now why that is, is because this is pretty much a neoprene shell around um, a foam inner or latex inner and what that does is it forms to your back and shape of your body really well and if you're getting pull from different angles on the front of the harness uh, it will still be comfortable in all directions because there's not any particular hard plate on the back that can kind of dig into your side or or um, push against you on the wrong angle if your harness is twisted. I think soft shell harnesses are best suited for people that like to use a hook stool, not so much a slider. People that are, are doing a lot of different things with their harness. So, you know, they might be doing some foiling one day, um, freestyle another day, and wave riding some other day. If you're hooked in and you have a hook on a soft style harness, if the harness twists around a bit, it's still comfortable. You could, you could even have this harness almost like sideways on you while wave riding on your toe side and, and it will still be comfortable. So that's one of the biggest advantages, I think, of a soft shell style harness. And it's one of the reasons that I really like to use uh, a soft shell style harness uh, when I'm wave riding. Now, of course, you could use uh, a sliding piece of rope for um, your spreader bar, which would also let the angle change. But if you use a piece of rope um, as a slider, you can no longer unhook from the kite, which I still enjoy doing. Also, another group of people that might find um, the soft shell uh, a bit better for them is freestylers. If you're really trying to tweak a grab or get um, you know, really crunched up in a certain position, a soft shell style of harness will give you the most mobility because it has the most flex. It can really um, twist and bend like the harder styles can't. Another area this harness might be better for some people in is if you're traveling a lot. The hard shell style harnesses can't pack flat, whereas this style of harness, you can just pack it flat on top of your boards or kites or whatever and you might find that this actually fits a lot easier in your luggage. I would say the soft style of harness is um, the best all-rounder. If you, if you really just have to choose one to do everything, uh, I'd go with uh, a soft shell style harness if you're not sure. From the soft shell style of harness, we go all the way to the top, we go to a hard shell, something like this Ride Engine Elite. Now this isn't the current um, year model of harness, but the current one is very similar with just small upgrades to the level of comfort and fit and design. But ultimately, it's still the same thing. It's um, a hard shell carbon backplate with um, a latex inner and neoprene around the edges and on the insides. What you get with a hard shell harness is the maximum of support. This uh, hard backplate doesn't flex and it's giving you the best support you can have for the curve or arch in the back of your spine and that's where it's designed to sit. So you also must consider if um, this style of harness actually fits the shape of your back because for a lot of people, you know, you have different shape in your back, this uh, style of harness might actually be uncomfortable for you. My back is pretty straight and having this harness actually does feel comfortable for me because it helps um, initiate the or it helps support um, the curve in my back and and that's something that makes my back feel better but I know a lot of other people that already um, have too much curve they say this style of harness can feel uh, a little bit uncomfortable personally I think this style of harness is best for if you're riding really powered up you're cinching your harness down really tight and it fits super well. Um, this style of harness is great for that. I think um, where this style of harness doesn't hold up so well is if you're someone that likes to have the harness slide around, like I was saying in the soft shell style of harness. If this style of harness um, moves on your back, it is, it is really uncomfortable. If it slides to one side and then you have this kind of shape in the back of the harness, 
pushing against the side of your rib or um, just on the side of your body versus being in the shape of the spine that it's designed for, it feels super uncomfortable. So you need to think about that. Are, are you riding um, toe side a lot um, with a hook on your harness? If you are, then think about getting um, a rope slider instead of a hook. If you're using a rope slider in one of these style of harnesses, it, it, it becomes a lot more comfortable, but you will still face a similar issue of when you get to the edge of the rope slider, um, your harness will still be trying to twist a little bit. And at that point, um, it will still feel a little more uncomfortable than something softer would. You know, a, a decision between a hard shell like this and a soft shell like the Momentum I mentioned previous is uh, what level of support you want. If you really need that extra support that the carbon hard shell provides, um, something like this is great. But if you just want the maximum comfort and you're not going to be riding like super powered up all the time, you might not need this support and a soft shell is going to feel a lot nicer. We've talked about the soft shell and the hard shell harness and where I think those two really excel. And if you kind of combine the two of them, you get something a little bit in between. You get something that's sort of like a hybrid harness. This harness, like the light that Ride Engine's doing now, is something that's sort of in between the two. I guess you could say it's more of a hard shell as it does have a hard shell on the back, but this uh, style of harness definitely has more flex still than um, the Elite would. The Elites, or well, the hard shells, are very stiff. Like this has, this has zero flex. You cannot flex the back of this harness at all. Whereas the light or these hybrid style of harnesses um, definitely still have some flex in the back. Personally, I really enjoy this style of harness because a soft shell is really comfortable and I do, I do think it's the most comfortable harness, a soft shell. But if you're riding for prolonged periods or if you're just riding like really powered up, for example, if I'm riding on a wake skate and I need to take a bigger kite to be powered enough to ride that small of a board, a soft shell harness can feel quite uncomfortable for me, but this style of harness still gives most of the support of a hard shell style, but with the added mobility and flex that um, a soft shell can give you as well. But the biggest benefit of this style of harness is it doesn't suck up much water, if, if any at all. Um, the type of foam they use for these harnesses is closed cell foam, so it doesn't take on water. When you're traveling, this is a massive benefit because this harness stays light, like its name, and you can still um, pack it relatively flat because this does have a little bit of give. Unlike the hard shell style that has no give at all, this harness can still um, lay relatively flat if you need it to, so it's a, it's a much easier harness to travel with this than your typical hard shell. Something that you still need to be mindful of, if um, your harness is twisting and it's not on the right, right angle, it can still be uncomfortable because it still has this hard um, shell on the back and the edge of that shell will still dig into you through this thermoform part if it's not in uh, a very nice place on your back. This um, style of harness has, I would say, less, less curve in the, in the back plate so if you have a back that requires um, less curve, this style of harness might fit you better and it might feel more comfortable for you. I know there's quite a bit to consider and think about um, choosing between these different styles of harness, but ultimately the easiest thing to do is just to consider what style of riding you do most and the conditions you ride in most and choose the harness that fits that maybe talk to some people, maybe look at you know different pros, what they're riding and the styles that they're riding, and that should give you a pretty good idea of the type of harness you might like to ride. One other thing to consider when comparing between these different styles of harness is that with a hard shell type of harness, you can usually ride um, a smaller harness, like I don't mean smaller around the waist, I just mean that the, the back plate can can have less width. That can give you more mobility while still having a hard shell. And for some people, that's gonna feel great. For other people, it's, it's maybe not gonna feel so comfortable because you don't have as big a um, 
backplate for support, but it's something to keep in mind that when you're moving from a hard shell to a soft shell, you can ride um, essentially a smaller harness, which aesthetically might look better to some people and also might just feel better to some people. So that's something to keep in mind. So what do I use and what's my favorite out of all these styles of harness? As I said earlier, I feel like the soft shell's the most versatile. If I was going on a trip where, you know, I was doing wave riding, freestyle, foiling, and anything else, I would probably choose a soft shell style of harness. Um, at the moment, I've been, I've been really liking the light. This is, this is probably my favorite harness. And that's because one, it's super light, which is really handy for traveling. Every kilo makes a difference when you're traveling. And two, I just like the little bit extra support it gives for if I'm riding in uh, really powered conditions or riding on a wake skate where I need to ride a bigger kite. I hope that information's been helpful in choosing uh, the right harness for you. If you have any questions or you need any more advice on it, feel free to hit me up in the comments and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Cheers.